Yeah, good morning. Uh, we are at uh, the Global uh, Harasses Global India Meet 2012. And uh, it's the first time at such a meeting I have seen uh, some iconic uh, people from the Indian movie making. Imtiaz Ali, welcome to this panel. Prakash from the media uh, world, Max Bozier, General Sharma. You're now a very uh, high visibility in the Harasses Meet. Thank you to this panel. And I thought I'll just take a quick chance to talk a few things about this part which is normally not discussed which is the business part which we do in the other session so in Tiaz Ali um, we loved your movies first all the four movies we loved it and uh, India makes a lot of movies a lot of movies but uh, somehow uh, in you I saw that you had a pulse of the nation you made four movies in a row that are successful that resonated with the crowd uh, what were the thoughts and how could you capture that that's the, my first question. And the second question would be uh, in, in this new trend that, you know, if I can use the word uh, Bollywood, I know some people don't want to use the word Bollywood. Bollywood's aspiration to go global, how do you see that happen? And these are the two questions first I'm going to ask you. So if you can share your thoughts on that. Um, starting with the first question first, I came from ignorance into cinema. Uh, into movie making. I'm untrained, unskilled, uneducated about cinema. And uh, I've, I've, I was doing theater before that. And while in theater, I was habituated to having my own story. And since the audience was small, I would just use my friends as actors and tell that story mm -hmm. in school and college, etc. So when I came into cinema, I did not really know what was going on in terms of what is selling and what are the norms that I should abide by as far as movie making of that time was concerned. I feel, luckily for me, the norms that there were were also falling by the wayside. Mm -hmm. The whole concept of formula cinema and that, um, you know, I, I have to distance my personal aesthetics from the work that I do in cinema because public ko ye chahiye. I think audience wants larger than life, melodrama, etc. But I'm an aesthetically very correct and sophisticated person. That was the view a lot of people had at that point of time. Mm. But I did not have that option. I had to invest myself directly into the work that I was doing, mm -hmm. which I did. And I feel um, to some extent that became ultimately the trend, not because of me, but, but because the tide was turning in that direction. A certain informality was coming into storytelling. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's why people like me have survived. You've kind of proved almost to the core of the word creative and innovation because you brought, as you said, with no formal background. So in this industry, we talk of innovation and creativity. And I think you epitomized the creativity and innovation because you said that. That's the first. Yes. The second question I'd asked you about the aspirations of global movie making in collaboration with India. Do you see that happen? I see a lot of... Uh, actor and actresses flying in from Los Angeles into India every month. Is, do you think that there is a trend to collaborate and what's, where do you see that go? You know, even now when we watch movies, um, especially in metropolitans, uh, we usually do that in multiplexes. So when I go to watch a Hindi film, I see also the posters of at least two Hollywood movies in the same theater. Mm -hmm. So I have the option of doing that. and. Um, I think the audience is far more educated in terms of different types of cinema and because of the whole um, media revolution so to speak, something like television and internet, um, everybody is exposed and can reach anywhere. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, so there is the audience that is pulling us in a direction of uh, innovation mm -hmm. and uh, you can now not say that the, uh, this is the Indian taste and the Indian audience knows only this because the Indian audience is now the world audience. Firstly, mm -hmm. uh, Hindi speaking, people are everywhere in the world and, um, and also the ones who are in India are very exposed to what's happening in the rest of the world. Um, so ideas are getting shared instantly through social media, etc. And cinema has to follow suit. Mm -hmm. And it's a good thing that it, it uh, uh, because it uh, entails the opportunity of collaboration, as you're saying, worldwide. 
and okay. ideas can be shared technology can be shared because uh, there is always going to be the case mm. uh, that um, certain parts would have uh, more technological expertise in, in, in something and then they can be they can come into uh, um, Hindi cinema just like they do in Hollywood uh, to collaborate and make it make certain things better so I think uh, there is um, not only um, a desire to in terms of filmmakers to collaborate worldwide with ideas, with production, um, uh, finance, etc. But also there's a need because the audience wants that collaborative effort because okay. they want quality. That's great, Mintaz uh, In fact, you, you had some interesting thoughts on this about technology being an enabler also. But that segues me to Prakash you because uh, he mentioned about media and the globalization and you come from the media world. And uh, my observation has been so far that India has been very strong in, uh, you know, direct advertising and print and other things. How do you see the morphing into the digital footprint of media, which is what I believe uh, are, are the days ahead? First of all, uh, something directly related to the movies the, and using the mobile phone right now, the kind of posters you have in the multiplexes, which Jal mentioned. Now, if you just take your mobile phone, scan through it, actually immediately there are codes in the posters which will display you four trailers of that movie, most Hollywood movies. Oh. So you immediately get the experience of what this is about. So there is technology being even integrated in those posters, which somewhere gives you a slight experiences of this 40 second and you have about 1.6 minutes of trailer. Of just by doing that through your mobile just, technology? Just like you go to any multiplex, put your mobile phone and all of a sudden uh, it'll show you, pull four, four trailers of the movie on YouTube. Wow, I didn't know that and that's the first thing, that's and an unbelievable Hollywood, Hollywood, nah, hall, technology Hollywood, in your hands. Movie posters actually have that integration and it's like, because the your mobile phone recognize that poster as a, as a whole. I think we will have something like that in the Bollywood movies also. I hope so. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's not a complicated technology, it's just the poster scan. So you see more of that happen? Yeah, I think the integration is there. Uh, more and more people, more and more smartphones in this market. I think in somewhere, you don't have to, when you try to plan for a movie, you ask your friends who have seen it. And, and you mostly do not want to be the first person seeing it and telling your friends. So. With those things, you have some idea of what's going on, and that's just the mobile bit of it. And then there's so much what, what the digital technology does, and actually is the reason lately for a lot of mega budget movies in India even failing because the information is shared so instantly, it's like a viral, we call it. Yeah. So before you know if it's not a great movie and it was much hyped about in 24 hours, you it won't work. Knows. It won't work. Not, was not the case earlier. So That's true. Digitization makes a huge difference. Now, India has 800 million mobile subscribers right now, and that's only second to China. And I think we will take over China. Yeah, so I think that has changed the way we live. Uh, our connectivity, India still, in terms of real numbers, only 7% of India goes on mobile, access internet via mobile or broadband out of which mobile is more than broadband already. So we somewhere skipped the stage of broadband. So Went to handheld straight. India skips stages that yeah. as, 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 as a country. No, 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 it's, it's a skips. India yeah. has a habitual, is a habit of skipping, skipping stages. From That's agriculture nice. we move to services. We practically missed the industrial stage which the US or the Western world or even China is going through right That's now. That's a brilliant observation. So That's a very... To industry, if you see 1990, we were 70% GDP was agriculture. 10% industry and about uh, remaining services. Exactly 20 years later, 70% services, 15% agriculture, that's and 10% industry. The industry stays the same, 10%. So <laughs> that's a very good observation. So a very good point. In internet, now uh, we would we are going through the same thing. People are saying, you know what? Why should I pay the money for a broadband? Just it's great. It's for 199 rupees. I have mean, unlimited access on my Airtel or Vodafone. And people and the smart phones give you some kind of size. Adding to that, how will it change dramatically is, is an initiative which Mr. Mukesh Amani is, is letting. Uh, as, I don't know if you know that, we, we call it the Telecom Revolution 2.0, mm -hmm. which the uh, uh, Reliance uh, Industries, uh, the Mukesh Amani group, they have they, they've acquired a company which has WiMAX, 
license is 22 circles. Uh, in WiMAX, is, you have Wi-Fi, you have WiMAX, and then there are LTE, the three technologies. Mm -hmm. uh, how you have your any software 1.2, 2.0, 3.0. Uh, two, uh, so they acquired that. They acquired a company which won 22 circles. Reliance is, uh, and this just putting about five billion uh, dollars behind it. So he's putting towers all across the country right now. It's actually under testing mode in Calcutta. What now? Uh, if we have LTE, you can actually have a high definition videos on your on your mobile, mobile. or your yeah, tablet. Okay. So he's intending to replace basically the whole TV concept. So, and he's about about five million tablets are under. Uh, production in China right now for him, which will be costing around thirty dollars. So for thirty dollars, you actually have a high definition video running right on your handheld on or, your or on so your you mobile. Uh, the TV and he's pricing it differently for a village to a town to a city. So if that goes on and he launches goes national in December, that makes a huge difference in this country. So wonderful. we don't even know how will things change by December. This great, year. great thoughts, Prakash. That's a wonderful, uh, general. Uh, you again represent, uh, you come from the Army, former General of the Indian Army, and you guys have been a lot of inspiration for the Indian movie makers. And off late I see a lot of collaborative, so would you like to share some of that? Firstly, I totally agree with you that uh, the love that the Indian Army has got from the Indian population per se, which is translated into the Bollywood movies, and you will see all the movies that we come across and they show across it, especially in times of war, it's a great feeling for a soldier when he sees a movie and we show a soldier in a good light. I can tell you that what it does for morale in Indian is brilliant and therefore my compliments to Bollywood for giving the Indian soldier the boost that he deserves right going up to the area. And every time the show is in a very good light, helps a lot in the country. Thank you indeed very much and that's something I'll which I really love to it. Yeah, very quickly Prakash, yes. But I think military, I was telling General uh, yes, uh, yesterday or drinks that I think military, Indian military forces and anything related to that discipline is probably the only kind of section uh, where the respect is still there. Yeah, absolutely. And, 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 uh, and, uh, and uh, in Indian terminology, a foggy is a foggy, and that's what we say. Uh, thank you, Imtiaz Ali. Thank you, Prakash. Thank you, General Sharma, for giving me the time. Have a great stay and a good meeting during the course of the day. Thank you very much.